A father pleads not guilty in Franklin County Court after police say his two-year-old son overdosed on fentanyl. Channel 3's Cam Smith is following this story for us and joins us in the studio now. Cam, what have you learned? Yeah, Kat, 30-year-old Michael Wilson is charged with cruelty to a child after police say he left his son unattended in the bathroom at a home on Troy Street in Richford. That's where they say the child overdosed. We'll take up... Uh... Uh, State of Vermont versus Michael Wilson. 30-year-old Michael Wilson of Richford appeared before a judge in Franklin County Court on Wednesday. According to court paperwork on Tuesday, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office responded to Wilson's neighbor's home at 40 Troy Street in Richford for a report of a child in and out of consciousness. The child was left unattended in the bathroom for an undisclosed uh, period of time. It's believed at this point in time that the child got into the garbage there and had uh, obtained a glass lint baggie, you know, like a little plastic baggie, and had put that baggie into his mouth. Court paperwork indicates the bag contained fentanyl. The child was administered Narcan to reverse the suspected overdose and was later taken to the hospital. Wilson was charged with cruelty to a child as a result of this incident. It's more around the, you know, leaving the child unattended with the knowledge that there could be potential uh, opiates in the vicinity, you know, accessible to the child. In court, Wilson's attorney argued against the judge's decision to find probable cause, saying his client didn't know that there were any present hazards. There's no evidence to suggest that Mr. Wilson was aware when he entered that house that it was a dangerous Place to be in. While it's unclear why the son was left in the bathroom and whose drugs were left there, Sheriff Grismore says the home on Troy Street has been on their radar for illicit drug activity, and Wilson is known to have previous drug-related involvements with police. Defendant knew that uh, his son was uh, in an environment where he was exposed to fentanyl, and that is enough to uh, to meet the element of willfulness under this uh, statute. Now, we do know in this case that the child did survive. According to data from the Northern New England Poison Center, Vermont averages about 12 cases per year involving opioid exposure in young children. The Vermont Department of Health says it's important to place harmful substances on high shelves and behind closed doors and also to in install childproof latches on medicine cabinets. Sheriff Grismore says while their investigation is ongoing, there could be more charges filed. In the studio, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.